you're about to hear is the fusion of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. There's a big story up in the blaze. Been there for a couple of days. It's still the uh, number one or number two story about um, the uh, end times. An author, a Christian author named Jeff Kinley, has uh, was asked by the blaze: Is man call is mankind evolving into a more peaceful and prosperous people, or are we on a path toward ever increasing moral depravity and uh, social chaos and destruction? I think it's pretty clear um, which way we're which way we're headed. Which way? I guess the media and and if we continue down this road, which way we're we're headed? We're clearly not headed towards um, utopia. We're clearly headed for real trouble. Um, now, the question is, does it have to be that way? We were in um, uh, Silicon Valley over the weekend. And uh, I met with a couple of people, um, uh, Andreessen and uh, Horowitz. Um, they have this this amazing, um, I guess it's a kind of a tech hedge fund, isn't it? Um, where they are helping private entrepreneurs that are really seeing over the horizon. Venture capital situation. Yeah, make, right? these, make these things um, uh, make these things come to fruition. And we sat with how many people, uh, Pat? Oh. 20? Probably, yeah. yeah. 20 different, 20 different uh, companies that were all forward thinking and what life is going to be like in the future and, and what kind of tools are just over the horizon. And it's really amazing. I mean, when you look at what is happening um, in the tech world, uh, it's it's pretty darn incredible. A lot of it was demonstrated for us too, so it's it's not it's already not, I mean, happening. It's here. It's, it's here. here. Yeah, it's, it's here. just a matter of of it becoming widespread yeah. and, uh, all and the catching way, fire. All the way from Bitcoin, which I would absolutely invest in Bitcoin. Um, uh, you know, I, I I don't know what I, I don't just know have to decide happen. if it's is it safe enough. That, uh, one of the problems they seem to have with Bitcoin is you know computer hacking, and so. I mean, you can have your money stolen anywhere, and you can have your identity taken anywhere. So I guess it's as safe as anything else. Yeah, it just doesn't but, have the you know FDIC. But what does the FDIC even mean? You know, okay, so the bank goes point. down, and and what are you going to get more dollars at this point? If the banks start to go down, your dollars are going to be worthless. The next time the banks really start to fail, there's only like six of them. And it's like George Bailey said when the building and loan was going down. You're 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 looking at this all wrong, right? You see, right. The money's not here. It's in Stowe's house and 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 your house, Glenn, and and Je- well, not Jeffy's because Je- Je- Jeffy lives under a a, 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 a viaduct. You but, say, <laughs> but he didn't build uh, that viaduct. No, he didn't. He didn't didn't build that. No. Yeah. No, Jeffy didn't build anything. <laughs> you see. <laughs> you say. Uh, so anyway, you have don't you don't you have some Bitcoin? I don't uh, at this point. I'm very interested in it. I think it's fascinating. Uh, so because I think the company that you were looking at, I thought you invested in. We met with. Yeah, I, I, I am. A, I'm on. I've signed up for that. I signed up a few months ago because I'm very interested in it, and I keep toying with mm. it. Like every two months, I talk myself back into it, and then I scare myself away. Again. I've heard you talking yourself in and out of it. <laughs> yeah, because you do it sometimes out loud. Yeah, it's very much so. Yeah. <laughs> well, did it's you know fun that to hear. it's worth? Yeah. It's. I think it's worth. I mean, it's not worth a huge investment. I think at this point. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to put all my money in bitcoin but no. it is it's, it's gone worth. as high as is it 1600 or something for one i, I, I mean it's, it's a really hard thing to understand if you know because uh, you have to think you have to think completely untraditional it's completely mm-hmm. different it's, there's yeah. no there's no real banks as you understand it and there's no central bank and there's no currency it's just you know it's clams. Uh, we've decided we're going to sp- we're it's decided we're all going to use clams over the internet, and so you buy X number of clams, and then they're held in cyberspace, cyber clams, mm-hmm. and then you just trade those cyber clams. And but I mean, it's the same relationship I have with every other piece of money, essentially that I yeah, use right now, with the exception of what I pull out at the ATM. I have it's the same relationship I have. Well, with and even then, I mean, how often do you pull things out of the ATM? I don't do it that often. I, I almost know. never have cash, and so what I find is your, your, you know, your check you don't see because it's 
well, direct here's, deposited. Here's a great thing. I mean, there's you pay no, your bills online. You're not. You're not. You're not. Be, you know, nobody's collecting fees. Nobody's taking yeah. a piece. No, it cuts out the Fed. Right. I mean, we we discussed we discussed um, uh, with the Andreessen Horowitz people for quite a length. What stops polonium uh, two twelve? Is it two twelve? Yeah, exactly. yeah, I think yeah. so. What stops pl- polonium two twelve from being sprinkled all over your food soon? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, you're messing with the central banks all over the world. Now, the SEC and the IRS have just declared that it is uh, a commodity, so it's not currency. That was the thing I was worried about. If you're going to get into this, are they going to declare that this is a currency and then everybody's going to jail? The SEC just said that it is not a currency. It's a commodity. So it's like gold or silver. Um, and the IRS is taxing it like that. And you can mine for it like gold or silver, too, on the Internet. I don't know how you mine for yeah, that, it. I don't I even think, think about mining, that part. That's a cool process. You, I think you have to get some sort of uh, program, and then you run the program. And the, and the program continuously runs on your computer looking for Bitcoins. So you can actually... Like a guy with a gold pan, you know, who goes out in golds in a stream, you, you do that for bitcoins on the internet. I, I've would never done it. Belong to someone. It's not like the earth is just spitting out. <laughs> no, but they are. No, I mean, but they are. Bitcoins. Yeah, Bitcoin are. does spit it out. Yeah, I know, but they don't spit them out into the system like that, do they? Yeah, I some think of so. them. Yeah, I think that's how the mine. The discovery process of them essentially comes through mining, and then they become bought and sold like any other commodity. And there's a very limited. There, there's a limited amount, and they never increase it. So I think right now it's at 11 million, isn't it? Isn't that what they told I us? I don't. I and don't. And it's know. going up to 21 million. But then and that's no the highest it. it ever goes, and they're not going to do any more. So and, the most you could have are 21 million bitcoins in circulation at any given time. This is great in theory, but I don't understand what stops them from going evil. But how would well, they? What's well, the, what stops what stops Bitcoin from just saying, you know what, we're we're all in this together, man, and it would really help if we had just a few more bitcoins. Well, that could happen, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I they, they do have, they do. I believe they've set up uh, mechanisms to stop that. Of course, you can always overcome mechanisms, right? Especially when you're the creators. Although, you know, the, it's out there in this ethereal sort of way. It's like it, the, the creator who Time Magazine, I think, just found. Uh, he's like a guy who doesn't want to be known as the creator. And he's living in modest, uh, in a modest home with modest cars and denies that he did anything with this. It's a really weird situation. But there's not like a head guy per se. Right. It, it sh- there's no central bank to it. Right. It's just set up and it's going now. Yeah. And it it's is really, really intriguing. It's really intriguing. And very, very, very free market, right? Yeah. It's like the... Oh, f- no, it's... I mean, these the guys, we were talking about it. Well, you left, Pat. We were talking about it afterwards. And these guys are convinced that this is one of the last berms of, of freedom. That if you can get, if you can get over mm. this berm... And you can really get this thing chugging, then man's never put back into the dark again because you're taking the exchange and the people are in charge of the exchange and you'd have to shut down the entire Internet. And and as they were saying, you know, look what happens when Turkey tries to shut down the Internet. You shut down the Internet. Everybody stands up and revolts. So you're I mean, you know that you're in, you know, um, a dictatorship clearly. When they start screwing with the internet and shutting parts of it down, and people don't put up with that. I mean, no, they don't. countries that have been oppressed in other ways for hundreds of right. years stand up when that happens. So I think that there is there's some escape valves here, and there's some really great things on the horizon. But it requires us to be good and decent people. For instance, there are what do you say seven seven billion smartphones that are coming online. So seven billion smartphones. That would be one smartphone for every, every person, person on Earth. Yeah. And I think it's like in the next 18 months or 24 months, some crazy amount, all coming online. We were talking about how there are people uh, now in some of the most remote regions of the world that have no uh, electricity or running water. They don't have any of that yet. But there's a cell tower up someplace, and there are people that are selling smartphones to these people. They're like 34 bucks for a smartphone. 34 bucks, somebody comes by with a generator, a, an entrepreneur goes and buys a generator and then charges everybody a dime for a half hour to charge your phone. And so people are out with nothing else but a smartphone. And you kind of think, okay, Amazing. is this, is this, I mean, in parts of this really good, 
parts of this really bad. We're all connected to the Borg. We're all connected to the Matrix. And it just, I don't know, there's something about it. So exciting, though, too. I mean, the other side of that is think of how, you know, slave owners treated slaves. They wouldn't, they'll, many of them, of course, didn't want to educate them. They didn't want them to be able to empower themselves because then they might, you know, realize, hey, I don't want to be a slave anymore. Uh, and they would be able to go out and earn things on their own and all that other stuff. I mean, think about what's happening as these many countries have been living under the slavery of dictatorship or the slavery of communism or the slavery of socialism and now are able to have more and more. I mean there is a, could I, could a I, positive could, yeah but could I give you uh, another another um, way to look at it so you're gonna take my positive and turn to negative is that what's gonna happen no, here just no another way. way just another way to look at it can't imagine that because um, I agree with you that's the way that's the way it has always been perceived but as a guy who has lived with addiction before if I took away all of your social apps, all your media, your smartphone, your TV, everything else, and I said you have to live disconnected, I'm just taking it away, turning it off. Wait, you're going to take TV as well? I'm, I'm, ta- I'm just going to take out. I control everything, mm-hmm. but I'm taking away all of your. I'm taking away all your cell phones, all your smartphones, everything else. How happy do you think this nation is? Well, not. Not at all. No. But, Not at all. I but think after I, a I, short time, you would adjust. I think that we are addicted to it. Yeah. 